so from your uh, 20 years of what worth of amazing career what has been your proudest moment till date if you can pick one <laughs> um it's a really strange one i guess because the more you get immersed on the journey if you like you take the little wins and i think too often people look for the, the big the big single thing you know i remember listening to an interview with johnny wilkinson talking about when he kicks that winning goal in the 2003 rugby world cup if that was his defining moment he would spend the rest of his life looking back up the hill at that moment and nothing would ever be as good as that whereas actually i try and get to a point now where every week or every month i have like mini successes if you like and i think you know there's awesome. there's plenty but i guess there's plenty of moments from you know my career i'm sure like everyone else is both sporting and my professional journey where actually you're like oh that was pretty cool i remember doing this i remember doing that you know i ran my first marathon 2 3 weeks ago and you know that was awesome it was a really incredible experience really really powerful experience um but equally that doesn't mean i'm going to sit and just spend the next you know year looking back and going that was great and everything else will be fine because of that i kind of take uh, every week you know i have my my old school diary and i will be taking like a few points every day of right let's get this ticked off let's have a success there uh, let's have a win here and i think it's obviously again it's different for everybody but people say you know what's the mark of a successful coach and i say to them when they get a letter from their athlete in 10 years time inviting them to their wedding that's when you know you've had an impact on someone's life so i think not saying i'm looking for lots of wedding invites but <laughs> i think uh, it it's redefining that metric and i think too often we put that on very um clinical things that perhaps are out of people's control whereas when you're actually talking about going on a journey and what does success mean you know it means enjoying yourself you know being happy healthy having a good time along the way because in 50 years time they're the bits you'll remember they're the photos you'll have up on the wall um and that's kind of i hope what's going to like pedal i guess the business aspects of the coaching i'm looking to do because ultimately everyone is on a journey and if you turn around to somebody and said in a business you know i want to make 500,000 pounds profit this year and then you make it you know suddenly the the clouds don't part and rainbows don't shine down on you and everything suddenly waved a magic wand and solved in your life it's an arbitrary statistic whereas actually if you said you know i want to have a profitable company but it has <clears throat> happy staff i have a good work life balance i feel fit and healthy um you know my mental health's in a good place all of those sorts of things actually that's a much more impactful goal that at the end of it you're going to feel much more fulfilled with it so yeah i think from my own journey there's so many little things but i try and now get to the point where it's almost like tiny little goals every week because actually that makes you feel much more satisfied than i think one thing every 10 years that's like your your crown jewel if you like i'm so glad that you did bring this up and i could completely identify and relate to your thought process over here and if i can maybe summarize or maybe take one take away from your perspective on having a proud moment or ha- what is the success is having an impact on people that you are helping or working for and creating some sort of positive influence or helping people achieve their dreams as you are doing through your coaching business that you're into sports right now you're not just helping people be better at what they want to but also i think leaving a legacy behind your i'm i'm for sure and i do hope that they you do get a lot of wedding invites for sure and that's definitely a mark of how well they have taken you and welcomed you in your in your, 